Hello everybody, this is Lauren Welch, and today I want to talk about authoring assets inside of Autodesk Factory Design Suite. Hopefully by now you've seen Autodesk Factory Design Suite and understand that it gives you the ability to lay out your entire facility in both a 2D and 3D environment. So here inside of the inventor portion of Factory Design Suite, I'm going to go ahead and overlay a DWG file out of AutoCAD architecture. And inside of this file, we have a variety of 2D and 3D information right from the DWG file. Now I want to start placing some 3D content. Now, Factory Design Suite comes with a variety of assets or content already built in, but it also gives you the ability to create your own assets, and that's what I want to focus on today. So we're going to go ahead and, using the inventor portion of Factory Design Suite, go ahead and model a simple table. And I modeled it quite quickly, as you can tell. But from here, I want to start taking a look at the parameters, or some of the ways I can control or maintain that this is a standard asset that people can use inside of my facility layout design. So here inside of my parameters, inside of Inventor, I can establish that I have a length, a width, and a height of this table. And in fact, from the height standpoint, I can quickly and easily make a list of standard heights that a user can pick from as they place this content into their facility layout. So now that I've got that established, we've got a, a series of standard sizes, and just like a standard part would operate inside of Inventor with parameters, I can quickly and easily change those parameters, and my part will update on the screen in real time. So now comes the secret factory sauce that's part of the factory design suite. We have an asset builder right inside of Inventor. So from here, I can establish a landing surface or where this table, where the legs will be placed on the floor when they place in my facility layout. I can also add additional things like uh, connection points. This will allow me to place multiple tables together or snap my table to the end of a conveyor. Just a, a variety of easy, quick methodology to you know, place this on the floor and then snap it to other objects inside of my facility layout. Again, making it very easy to use. We'll now go ahead and publish this asset. And along with these parameters that I've established as key parameters in my model, I can establish where this will be stored as far as folder location and any other additional metadata that's needed author, company, description information. So if this is supplier or vendor content, you can quickly and easily label it as such and put in any additional comments the end user will need to know about this particular table. And again, so we got all the geometry in Inventor, we have all the parameters, now some additional metadata, and now let's see how we can use this inside of Factory Design Suite. Let's go back to our facility layout and start adding some of these new tables out of my user asset folder into my facility. So here we have this nice small work table. I'm going to drop in essentially in the middle of nowhere in this particular layout. Let's zoom in and take a look at what we have here. So I'm automatically prompted to begin placing multiple tables. And you see those are my connector points. And you see I get nice glyphs and highlights of how they're going to snap these together. So it really gives you a very innate ability to be able to snap these together, place them where you want quickly and easily without going through constraints and mates and all kinds of things that you might see in a typically assembled environment. Now when I select this asset, here are those properties I specified of length, height, and width. And you'll notice that I do have the multiple selector drop-down menu for my standard heights. The things like length and width I could type in um, values um, based on just free numbers. Now I'm going to place another table in here next to this one and I'll just rotate it 90 degrees quickly and talk about how we can update multiple instances of the same asset. So here, for that height, for the second table, I'll lower it down and update just that one individual asset. So if I rotate this, you can see there are multiple heights. So I can update these instances individually, or if I need to make a global change with every single small table, I'll set them all to a certain height and update them all globally. So there's a nice quick overview of how to create and use assets inside of Autodesk Factory Design Suite.